<laughs> Which leads me to my point. All yeah, right. I can't stand you today. I really can't stand you. Today. Do you know which part of the human body cannot heal itself? Oh, I know. What? The medulla oblongata. <laughs> she is so full of shit today. She has no idea. The only part of the human body that eyelash. Is, the only part of the human body that baby toe. <laughs> The only part of the human body that can't heal itself is a teeth. Once it cracks, it's done. And enamel is not self-regenerating. This is true, because when I jumped into the pool and landed on my chin and chipped one of my teeth, chipped one of my tooth, teeth, toothuses, when I chipped my toothuses, it was chipped for years. Check it out, and now it's not, because I got it sawed down. It's like my favorite. Put your hand in the pot, babes. Oh, Tell it's us so what warm. we're talking about. It's so warm. Can you imagine if there was just a bunch of hot liquid in there? I would love it. What's the tea? The tea for the day is nightmare job interview. Wait, have you ever had a job interview? We can we Do can auditions. We can, yeah, I was going to say we can we can we can add audition to it. Well, that's a job interview. Have you had a nightmare one? I've had nightmare job. Okay, you go first. I have one, but I haven't told this story to anybody. So. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Okay, here's the deal. I can't tell you the name of this very famous actor because, you know, confidentiality. But here's the deal. She'll tell me after. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> put in the comments who you think she's yeah, talking about. Yeah, put it in the comments who you think I'm talking about. Some of you know. May, many of you maybe don't. But I worked as a personal assistant for many celebrities. And I sat down, hi, nice to meet you, hi, nice to meet you. We start talking and he starts asking me these questions and they're not normal job interview questions. It's like, what do you think about coffee? And I was like, oh, I don't actually drink coffee. I drink tea. And he was like, from where? And I was like, um, green tea from Starbucks almost every day. He looks at me and goes, why would you ever assault your palate like that? And I was like, what? This person is very serious about their craft too. Like so intense. Yes, like I am an actor. I don't think I've ever seen him in a comedy. I don't think I've ever seen him smile. Okay, keep going. Anyhow, I was like, I don't know. It's like what I can afford. He was like, I drink coffee every single day. He goes, every single coffee machine in this office has been imported from so, so such and such. I roast the beans at a hundred. Everyone in this office is literally a trained barista. I actually had a barista from this company come in and I was listening to him and I was like, okay, Ooh, okay, okay, honey. And he continued on and on and on in this fashion for so many different things. Cigars, black t-shirts. Uh, VQ. Wait, black t-shirts? Yes, he was like, I want you to find me the best black t-shirt in the whole world. And I was listening to him and I was like, you are a nightmare. <laughs> You're a nightmare because here's the deal. It's all that money it's also attention. Sub it's all subjective though too, right? Because the best black t-shirt in the world to me is not gonna be the best black t-shirt to you and it's certainly not gonna be the best black t-shirt to him because he's gonna want it thread count and sewn by some moth and you know. <laughs> the moth has to The sew. moth has to, listen, <laughs> the way that he was going, the moth itself would have to. That's create. funny. At the end, I'm leaving. Thank you. Okay. He was like, we'll be in touch. Did you get hired? Yeah. Well, his brother came up to me and he pulled me aside and he was like, can I just say something to you? And I said, yeah. And he goes, do you know the difference between insanity and eccentricity? And I said, no. And he goes, money. And I was like, fuck. You right, sir. And also if your brother is telling me this, he means everyone fucking knows you're insane, yeah. but we're calling you eccentric because you have money. Tell me about yours. You said he's never told anyone before. Tell me. I know you're so excited and Spirit I'm over here like CPTSDing over here. I mean, I kind of just have PTSD because I'm afraid this is going to get me trouble. Yeah, but um, I remember I went on an audition and I was younger and there was another actress by the name of Raveen Kelly. Raveen? I, I was with my dad and... Auditioning for younger people at that time, definitely under the age of 13. It's kind of cutthroat because mm -hmm. not, not a lot of black girls got jobs and you know, she and I were totally different though, like different from top to bottom. I remember I was playing with her beforehand. My dad got so mad at me, so mad that I was fraternizing <sighs> with the Your other, competition. the competition. And I got in so much trouble and I started crying. And then I had to go into the audition while I was in trouble. And then I got in trouble after too. And it was nightmarish. Cause so I'm like, I can't even make friends. Like I wasn't really friends with anybody else in the industry cause I was living in Atlanta and everybody else lived in LA. So it was like cool to be cool. 
But then after that, I think like when an audition happens, I'd like sit in the corner now and don't talk to anybody. Oh, it like I'll broke your remember. spirit it a little totally bit. It totally broke my spirit. And I was like, I'm not even a serious actress. Like, why am I going out for this? Ravine did so many good things. She she had a great career, but I'll never I forget that. I got in such trouble because I was playing. And then I remember, I think we were like drawing on the table. We were kids, you yeah. know what I mean? And got in so much trouble right before the audition. I was like, well, I'm not gonna get this because <laughs> I'm Aww. like emotionally traumatized. But uh, yeah, that was a nightmare. Do you get nervous before an audition? I don't audition anymore. I think that shit is stupid. And yes, I get nervous and I suck. I suck at every audition. I don't think I th I've only I've only succeeded in one audition. Can you that, guess what it is? <laughs> that's so rude. It wasn't even that. It was called absolutely, absolutely psychic. psychic. I succeeded in one audition. I don't think I've gotten a role from anything. Well, else. you had to audition for Crosby show. Didn't audition for a role. I just went in there and like repeated something because they weren't looking for an actress. Uh. I just went in there and did it. But I remember I had to audition for something and I had to be a cop and she had a Chicago accent. I was like, <laughs> I had already been That's So Raven. Like my name is already established. And I'm like, I suck, man. Do you remember the one that you had to do that we did, I helped you with where you had to be a cancer patient and you I like suck at auditioning. She really went for it to like put herself on tape and she like put dark makeup under her eyes and put a beanie on and she was like, um, and I was like, baby, it's okay. You you're it's cute. I'm not a good I'm not a good dramatic actress. Like, I just know to stare at the camera and don't move my face and be super so sad. Like that's you, all I know how to do. You did a good job. Did I do a good job? That was pretty Would good. Would you hire me? Here's the thing about me. I love job interviews. What? I love them because I like talking to people. Yeah, she likes to talk. And I kid you not, every single job that I have ever interviewed for, I have gotten. It's true. I it's talk true. a really good game, but here's yeah. the catch about me. And then she I, fires herself later. Exactly. <laughs> I I am like all show, no action, or I can walk the walk, but like she can't talk I can't the, talk. The, no, she talk, talks the talk, but, but she I can't, can't walk, walk the, the walk. walk. So it's like, I'm in that room. I sell myself. I, I'm giving away my secret. I sell myself. I'm really spilling my tea. It's okay. I give you're not it all. Go on any more job interviews. You like never that. know. Right, I give not. it all up. I say the thing the person wants to hear it. They're like, you are so smart. You're so intelligent. You definitely can help my life. And I get it. And then they say action, like not in action, but like action and okay, first day on the job. And I'm like, I have to be there at eight? Like I can't leave until what? What are you talking about? I have to pick up this, the, or like it's make funny. Phone I asked her about that and I really want to implement some of that in my own life because I think there is an amazing confidence that you present, even though it doesn't fall do. through the rest of your life. But the amazing confidence in order to present yourself in such a way in a job interview is very important to have. And if you have the ability to sustain that through your job, that just means you're going to rise in ranks super, super fast. And I have that problem. When I walk in, I'm like, hi. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. But if you give me the job, like I'm a beast. Yeah. So I, I have to like, you, we have to share. I think that when I was interviewing for job interviews and I was young, I had all of this kind Vivaciousness. of Vivaciousness. Like, yeah. I liked it because it felt like a challenge, right? Yeah. Like I was like, I'm going in, I'm going to win this thing. I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. And then once I got it, I didn't want it anymore really. Or if it doesn't make sense to me, like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to stay here at 8.30 at night and we'll continue to be here listening to you have an argument over the phone over like where Brad Pitt takes a movie. We're not curing cancer here. We're not performing brain surgery, like I'm going home and I'm gonna eat and I'm leaving now. That's the energy that I, and guess what? No one in power likes that. No Bosses one, don't like that. No, because that's not the energy you have when you're in power. You gotta care about everything, but that's the difference. But here you are in power in YouTube. How do you feel about it? I feel like I can't fire anyone but my own self. And if I fire myself, I'm gonna hire myself again tomorrow. So it's great, I set my own schedule. <laughs> that's a real uh, that's, entrepreneurial that's, attitude. Yeah, there man. we go. You're an entrepreneur. Let's make a toast. Let's make a toast. To the D. Winton's Golden Mold. Hmm? Yeah, you may wonder what the fuck I'm talking about. D. Winton's Golden Moles are a type of mole that was found in South Africa recently. Did I say that right? South Africa. She goes South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> they were a type of mole that was found in South Africa recently. Now, okay. the reason we're toasting them is because for the longest time, we thought they were extinct. But they're not. <gasps> 
There was this super cute dog named Jesse that sniffed along with his scientists and they found this mole and they're here. They're here still on Earth and they've never went anywhere. We just couldn't find them. (gasps) And they're so cute. That's so sweet. I think that there is a mole in the movie Thumbelina. Doesn't she go in with the moles? I don't remember. A badger? I wonder what other species of creatures and animals and shit we think are extinct that actually aren't. I wonder what creatures we can't see on our plane because we don't have the right techniques and mechanics to actually find it. I'm talking about other dimensional species. I wonder how much is actually, yeah. I'm wondering like how many species we don't know about still on this earth. And you know what else? All what? the species that are still living within our bodies. Because let's not forget we're animals and there are animals living inside like of us parasites. as well. That was one of my favorite Ooh. movies, Strange World. Go check it out. Disney drop. Oh, yeah. We loved Strange, Strange World. Strange World was a good film. Well, I hope that someone at Disney listens to this and they feel inspired and they make to a To hire new... you? No. Oh. Because then they would just fire me. I hope that they make a new movie about a mole. Yeah. Called Winton. D. Well, That's the T. <laughs> it's been a good day, D. I learned so much about you today, babe. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Mm. And okay. um, I if hope you, you say guys so. learned about us as well. You know what? What? If you made it this far into the video, why don't you comment uh-huh. your worst job nightmare yes! interview or whatever it is, or do the worst job you've ever had. An interview that gone entirely wrong. All welcomed. Thanks, you guys. See you next week. See you week. next yeah. week.